So what's the grape export we're talking about today? Uh, we're back to uh, Bordeaux. And of course, you know, again, I always tell people my passion. There's a lot of reasons why I'm very passionate about Bordeaux. Uh, for one thing, it's just so diverse and you have so many areas of Bordeaux to talk about and so many what we call Appalachian. And today we are talking about Appalachian or AOC Medoc. And this is a beautiful wine that I want to zoom in a little bit on. It's a, an incredible value. It's called Chateau de Melan. And uh, this is uh, mostly Cabernet Sauvignon, and, but it's uh, equal part Merlot, 50% and 50% um, Cabernet Sauvignon. So you do have some equal parts here. But we're gonna show you on this map. So Medoc is all the way to the top, right above San Estef here. And um, you can see the proximity to the big river here, Giron, right here. I've actually had a chance to uh, spend some time in Sulac up here, because you have a lot of beach houses, a lot of people right here, right on the ocean, right on the Atlantic side ocean here. And the river comes right here. But th this area was, uh, was an interesting area historically because if you drive through this area, you're going to see a lot of big windmills and you're going to say, oh my goodness, it looks like Holland. Yes, they actually do call this Little Holland in an area because they brought in the Dutch because at that time, that whole area was flooded and it was all marshland. And what they, what they tried to do with the windmills is to try to dry up the the uh, the area to try to be able to cultivate grapes and and of course this was quite a quite a feat because you're talking about the dutch they knew how to uh, handle what we call flooding uh, especially from rivers like this they were quite astute in doing that so that so the engineers were brought in here to create what we call this uh this area right here to be able to uh, vinify grapes in a very very tough environment and today so they're making beautiful wines, and I think that Medoc is an area to pay attention to because we're looking for value. And again, this is under $20 a bottle for a Bordeaux, but it's not Omedoc, so you have to look carefully in the label where you will actually see what is called Medoc. And it comes from this little village right here, or what we call this little uh, sub-area of the Medoc. And uh, this is an area that you're going to see a lot of different uh, chateaus. Uh, from this uh, this this property right this area right here, so of uh, Valurac, and uh, this is actually um, there's a lot of these properties there that I, what I say they fly under the radar. Nobody knows these wines, so shh, you know what that means. The prices are down. This is under twenty dollars a bottle, and for a bottle of Bordeaux at, at twenty dollars a bottle, and it's not Bordeaux superior. It's not generic Bordeaux. And of course, they do have such things, you know, they have different classifications. This classification is called Medoc, and it's AOC. And these are beautiful wines. They have all that expression of what I call terroir. I always, I always love minerality expression in wines, especially when it comes to Cabernet, which can give you that leafy, tobacco-y kind of quality too, over a period of time. But just beautiful expressions of fruit. You get that mineral tone, bright acidity, and this is a 2020, which you can drink this right now. Uh, again, 2020 vintage was a great year in Bordeaux. That's the kind of vintage that Americans should really, really focus in on. Focus in on the 19s and the 20s, and especially the 22s, which will be great. 21 is another vintage that is a very, very drinkable wines. But 20, these wines are really beautiful. So when you drink this wine, mmm. You get all that juicy fruit, beautiful acidity, lovely tannins, everything in perfect harmony. And again, these are the kind of wines that are called value. Hello, we're looking for value right now. It's called Medoc from Bordeaux. Again, this is Grape Explorer, always looking for great, great value in Bordeaux wines.